In this video, I want to talk about osmotic pressure. So osmotic pressure is the pressure associated with water movement during osmosis. To review osmosis, I've illustrated it on the board here. Up here, imagine we had a beaker containing a 10 molar solution, where the blue is the water and the red is the solute. Over here, imagine we have that same size beaker with water and the same solute, but here it's much less concentrated. The red solute is only two molar concentration. Now imagine we connected these two beakers with a semi-permeable membrane through which only water can pass. So in other words, this red solute cannot pass between this filter. It's only water. So after osmosis, what's going to happen here is that the water is going to travel from the less concentrated beaker to the more concentrated beaker until their molarities equilibrate at 6 molar each. They sort of met in the middle. See, osmosis is the natural tendency for water to move from low solute concentrations to high solute concentrations. Water always wants to be equally distributed. And you can see here there's a big disparity in the distribution of water. Here we've got a lot of water because it's very dilute. There's not a lot of solute in it. And it naturally wants to move to a point where there is a higher solute concentration. That's why the water moved this way. So again, osmotic pressure is the pressure associated with this water movement. And we precisely define it as pi, the osmotic pressure, is equal to I, the Van Hoff factor of your solute, times M, the molarity of the solution, times R, the ideal gas constant, times T, the temperature in Kelvin. Okay, so let's do an example problem. Giraffe blood has an osmotic pressure equal to 0.213 molar KCl or potassium chloride. Estimate the osmotic pressure of giraffe blood at 37 degrees Celsius. So sometimes textbooks will ask questions like this where they try to make it sound fancy or complicated by mentioning giraffe blood or some other solution. But really what they're asking you to do is just calculate the osmotic pressure of 0.213 molar KCl. So since this is an osmotic pressure problem, I went ahead and wrote the osmotic pressure equation here. And of course we're solving for pi, the osmotic pressure. So I, the Van Hoff factor, is gonna be two. That's because we're doing this for KCl. And the Van Hoff factor is essentially the number of things that your compound is gonna split up into. And we know when we put KCl into a solution, it's gonna split up into K plus and Cl minus. So thus, splits up into two things, and the I, the Van Hoff factor, is two. Molarity was given, that's 0.213 molar. The ideal gas constant R is 0.0821 liters times atmospheres per mole times Kelvin. And a way you can remember these units is just say lata mulk in your head. Temperature, we actually had to adjust to change it to Kelvin. And you can change Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273.15. Once you type all this into your calculator, you'll obtain an answer 10.85 atmospheres of pressure is your osmotic pressure. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button and share it with a friend and I'll see you in the next one.